So we're here today in Burwood at a home that's been designed and built specifically for what the clients needed. Um, and we're lucky enough to have the client being family. So the fine chap standing beside me is often, is, um, often spoken about as my uh, brother, but he's my brother-in-law. So married my beautiful baby sister. So Mike and Leona come to us with the desire to find a section and design a house on it to a budget that suited what they needed. The main reasons for, for moving were, was space. So we wanted in the new place basically exactly what we've got here. A big open plan kitchen dining lounge with a big mothering island in the middle so we can fit about 16 people down here which is good when all the Croatian mafia come around for tea. We wanted a bigger garaging area downstairs for Leona's fitness studio so she's got bigger and better down there and we wanted a, um, a space for the kids with two teenage girls. We wanted somewhere where they can go take their mates, kick back, not hassle us and they've got their own bedroom and Jack and Jill bathroom up there so that side of it works really well. We can have multiple groups all doing their thing here. So w with this long section, so it's 50 metres long and it was only 14 metres wide. So it's quite a long section, bit of a challenge and with the need for the fitness studio to be hidden away from the road for privacy, um, it created a, an opportunity to put a porco share, which is a strange word. I, I, basically it was the old days you used to pull up in a carriage when you were a princess with a little horseman and he'd pull up and the princess would get out undercover. So what we established here was it was really cool for the family to be able to drive up and guess and park undercover under the Paul Cochere, which nobody calls it that. No, they usually call it Ivan's Carpool. Uh, Ivan's Carpool. And, he's the one who parks there. And then offload and um, whilst undercover. So it actually creates, when you see the images of it, creates quite a formal entrance to a difficult site. It's unusual to have your garage 50 metres away from the street. It's like half a rugby paddock. So with the design build process we discussed with the client what their needs are, what sort of look they're trying to achieve from the house and it was very um, important to Mike and Leona to have a traditional looking home so then uh, weatherboards come into the mix and I said well just hang on a minute you're going to have a, quite a high two storey section down the end of the house because of the ground slope so that facilitates obviously painting weatherboards. Painting weatherboards is an ongoing cost, should be done every seven to ten years and my equation is about $1,500 a year you should budget to repaint your house every seven to 10 years, a house of this size. So we made a decision to run with Palisade. So it's a PVC weatherboard, or UPVC weatherboard. So it's permanent color, um, doesn't rot, doesn't require painting, requires washing, because all surfaces on the outside and inside of a home will get dirty, so you just need to hose it down, wash it down once a year. So that, um, immediately cut back the requirement to paint scaffold um, and let's be honest you don't want to do that stuff yourself most Kiwis think they do but when they start into it they I wish we hadn't started because it ruins your weekends and your spare time so I said, said to Mike and Leona well hey you either budget $1,500 a year or we use this product that you don't have to paint we looked at two or three different options and we just come back to it every time mm. yeah. so it's, it's give yourself some time and consider how you're going to maintain the home. If you don't, um, it'd be like not maintaining yourself, you'll end up with some problems.